Sitting at the heart of the Atria solution, Atria Command Center provides a comprehensive interface for systems integrators and administrators to design, manage, and operate the entire control room solution. The first step in deploying our control room is to import our design from Atria Designer. This design section is a replica of Atria Designer. We can make changes or add extra assets here in Atria Command Center if required. Once our design is ready, we can start to configure the system in the Manage section. We begin by configuring our hardware in the Hardware Configuration screen. Here we can assign friendly names to all connected and discovered devices and configure any associated settings. Then, moving into Display Surface, we connect the relevant video wall controllers or Eligo and Arca receivers to our screens. Atria automatically discovers all connected hardware for us to assign. As we define this video wall to be a wall control video wall in our design, we're shown any available wall controllers here. We can drag this wall controller onto the video wall to associate it. We now have the hardware for our design connected and configured, and we can start to organize our content. The sources section makes configuring and organizing sources easy. Some sources have already been discovered and populated. For example, capture cards within the wall controller, or the Aligo and Arca transmitters that were discovered earlier. New sources can be added with a few clicks. Here we'll add a web page as a new source. Assets such as on-screen display, borders and banners are also created in this section. Here we'll create an OSD asset to add the time and date to a source window. Once sources are defined, templates and layouts can be used to help organize them and create predefined screen layouts for quick recall by operators. In the templates section, there are a number of predefined templates created. New ones can be created using the template designer. You simply specify the rows and columns needed. Then drag the cursor to define zones. Zones can be named to make it easy to send content to them from Atria Workstation later. Naming and saving the template makes it available to recall later. We can then populate the templates and save them as layouts for later recall. And once populated, we can name and save the layout ready for use. Now our system is fully implemented, we can start to view and control sources on our connected workstations and video walls. One way of doing this in Atria is via the control section. Here we can see our connected video walls and we can simply drag sources onto the wall representation to display them on the video wall. Sources can be positioned and resized as required. We can apply assets such as on-screen display by dragging them in as well.
Any layouts we have previously created can also be used here by dragging them onto the relevant wall. Atria Command Center provides a single integrated interface to implement Atria designs. Configure the hardware, organize content and view sources on connected displays in the control room.